Hey, good morning, guys. Been a long time. Uh, haven't been slacking. Too much yard work, too much work, period. And uh, last weekend, the long weekend, we just had uh, horrendous weather. We had a real wicked snowstorm on Friday, Saturday. Got about six and a half inches, yeah, five and a half inches of real sloppy wet snow. And then a bunch of rain, but uh, we persevered and got through that and uh, enjoying some really nice weather now. So uh, just kind of show you what I got done here. Been working on, uh, sorry about the hand there. I got the Chrysler 300 all stripped down. I got the Hemi out. <clears throat> She's uh, quite a job to take it out. You got uh, a few lines. There's only uh, two plugs. You got the uh, one from the computer and the one from the body side. You got uh, two wires on the starter to take off. Uh, you pretty much have to separate the transmission from the, uh, the motor to get it out of the 300. It's uh, pretty tight fit in there and uh, had quite a time wrestling this thing out and uh, getting it on the floor here. It's pretty heavy. Uh, that transmission is really thick and deep. I've run into, uh, <clears throat> after doing a bunch of research on this transmission, for me to be able to run it in the Dodge, it's gonna cost me about 4,700 bucks Canadian to get all the computers reprogrammed and a wiring harness for it. Not something I can do myself and uh, <clears throat> That's just way out of the question. So uh, some more research. I found a Dodge 518, A518 46RH, which is uh, the first generation overdrive. I got one of those coming. It'll be here Tuesday. It's coming out of Vancouver Island. I got a real wicked deal on freight, 100 bucks to have it shipped. So uh, once that gets here, I'm going to get that made it up just to see how she uh, goes together. Take you out. I'll show you the, uh, the 300. One of the things I was a little worried about was the uh, AC <clears throat> uh, losing the charge in it. But uh, the deer hit took care of that, so we didn't have to worry about that. So as you can see, I just took the entire front end off. Pulled the motor and everything straight out the front. <clears throat> Came out uh, fairly easy once we got it uh, out of there. There is literally no clearance. It touches right on the side of the, on both sides. Uh, the car's a little bit rusty down in the bottom corner there. But uh, overall, it was a fairly easy job. Get my hands out of the way here again. <clears throat> so it's sitting here waiting for me to uh, Once that transmission gets here, I'm gonna mate it up see how uh, that goes together and uh, We'll go from there uh, Today we're going uh, For our first real fun cruise the wife and I Kind of gonna be like uh, Gilligan's Island uh, three-hour cruise Hopefully it doesn't turn bad. We're going to head to uh, Maple Creek, which is about an hour and 20 minutes west of us. From there, we're going to go south to Cypress Hills Park, then down to a little town called Consul that's got a real cool car club, and then back home. So about three, three and a half, four hours we should be uh, back. I'll get some video of that and post it up uh, later on another video. So... Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll catch you a little bit later.